Look at these super delicious chocolate covered apples. Holy crap, look at this one. It's called Triple Chocolate Sensation. Oh my gosh. Guys, we are at Walmart. I am still in Florida. It is super hot here. So I am in need of some super awesome Christmassy movie tonight. But first, look at this awesome pack of Christmas cookie cutters. Holy crap. What all do we have in here? It looks like we have an... I think that's... No, that's a Christmas sweater. I thought it was an angel. Star, reindeer, a bell. Anyway, let's make our way over to the movies section here. Oh cool, there's GoPros. Anyways, <laughs> looks like we have a couple of Christmas things here. Oh, okay, this is not what we're looking for, but this is this is more like the uh the Lifetime or Hallmark Christmas movies, which are cheesy, but I watch them anyway and they always have like the same kind of theme. Like there's never a poor person in them. Both of them are always super rich, but it probably is a secret. One of them might be a prince. One of them hates Christmas, and one of them loves Christmas. Anyways, here's a kid's Christmas collection. Ooh, it's the Wild Kratts and Super Y. Let's go Luna, Peg and Cat. I remember watching this kind of stuff with the little, my granddaughter. <gasps> and Moana. You gotta love Moana. Okay, anyways, let's not get off track here. Here's a couple of Christmas movies here. The Christmas Collections. Okay, we have the original Christmas Specials Collection. I'm pretty sure I've looked at that one before. Same with the, uh, the Peanuts here. Classic Christmas Favorites. And then we have this one here, which is a pretty cool set. This has the Polar Express, Christmas Vacation, Christmas Story, and Elf. $27. Um... Pretty sure you can get each of these for about five bucks, though. This looks to be their specific Christmas section right here. So let's just look at some of these first. What the heck? Look at this. Once upon a Deadpool. Holy crap. I cannot believe I never even heard of this. Holy crap. Is that supposed to be Fred Savage on there? Oh my gosh, yes, it is. That is so hilarious. That's the scene from, like, The Princess Bride, where the grandpa is in there telling him the story of The Princess Bride. Oh my gosh. I, I almost have to buy this. Inglorious PG-13. How in the world does that work for Deadpool? <laughs> I cannot believe I'm putting it back, but... I'm gonna have to see that at some point. Okay, we got Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. We got the Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas. I remember watching that with my daughter when she was little. Jim Carrey's Christmas Carol. I do not like this. I saw it in the theater in 3D, and the only thing that looked 3D was when the snow was coming down. It actually looked like it was snowing in the theater. Jingle all the way, you gotta love Jingle All the Way, and we're definitely gonna do that for one of our movie nights, even if we have to do like an extra movie night, because we only have like one left this whole season. That's some more of those Hallmark ones. Home Alone, Home Alone, Home Alone. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, It's a Wonderful Life, White Christmas. Ooh, this is a 12 movie set. Oh, it's a Lifetime 12 movie set. Okay, Nightmare Before Christmas, there's that Christmas Carol again. Mickey's Christmas Carol. Rise of the Guardians, I have not seen that one. I also haven't seen Spirit Riding Free or the Trolls Dance 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 Collection. <laughs> How to Train a Dragon, that's not a Christmas movie as far as I know, but okay. Polar Express, The Grinch That Stole Christmas, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, A Christmas Story, which I've only watched one time this season, I can't believe it, because usually I watch it a billion times. Look, we got Harry Potter as a Christmas movie. Happy Christmas, Ron. We got The Holiday Inn, this two-film collection, Christmas of Many Colors, Circle of Love, Dolly Parton, and Coat of Many Colors. I believe I've seen this one. I think I may have said this in another video. Then we got Elf, one of my favorites ever. Another Christmas story in the Vacation Collection. And guys, what we are actually going to watch tonight is Elf. Holy crap. I love Elf so much. It is one of the most Christmassy Christmas movies 
forever. And one reason I love it so much is because it's like throwback to this kind of Christmas show. These were the Christmas specials that we used to stay up and look so forward to when they were coming on TV, back before you could stream anything and before you had like VHS even. You had to actually wait for these to be on TV and it was so awesome when they came on. But anyways, tonight we are gonna watch Elf. Buddy the Elf, one of my favorites ever. And our snack is gonna be so cool because we're gonna make Muddy Buddies. Let's just come over here for a minute though first because I remember, yeah, on the end here, I have to look at this elf package because it is so awesome. It's one of my favorite packaging I've ever seen for this movie or anyone because look, the Christmas story is exactly like it and so is this essential holiday collection. But this is what I love right here. The only thing is it's only the slip cover. You open it up and it's the exact same movie as the one that I actually have at home already. All right, wait a minute. Before we leave the movie section, I do see this one here. Fred Claus and Four Christmases. I love Fred Claus. That's one of my favorite Christmas movies, but I can't stand Four Christmases. Anyway, let's go. Let's go on over to the grocery section. We'll get everything that we need to make our Muddy Buddies. And oh my gosh, look what I just found, guys. Holy crap, milk chocolate stars. These things are so absolutely delicious just to sit there and eat them one after another. And the difference between these and like Hershey Kisses is the Hershey Kisses are individually wrapped. These are not. So you can just open the bag and be a pig. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Don't sit down and eat the whole bag or you'll look like me. All right, fine. I'll just put them back. Nobody ever wants me to have good stuff. <gasps> Holy crap. All right, I got to get away from this stuff. What in the world? Look at this. This is awesome too. Hershey's Trees and Stockings. White cream chips, they're shaped like trees and stockings. Here's what we need though. We need Nestle Toll House Semi-Sweet Morsels. That's a pretty dang big bag, but I don't see a smaller one. Those are all like, well, here's a small one of Semi-Sweet Mini Morsels. We do have to melt them, so I think that'll work. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. It would be so easy just to buy a box of Elf cereal and just sit there and snack on that while you're watching the movie. But we're not gonna do that. We wanna do it fun and we want to make our snack. So what we are actually looking for, ah, right here, rice checks. Okay, we want a box of these. These are $2.50 for the box. And actually, you could use whatever kind of checks is your favorite. Look, they got corn checks. They have wheat checks over there. I don't know how it would taste with those, but they got honey nut checks. Holy crap, I bet that would be good. Here's even chocolate ones but we're gonna make the ones that we get chocolate. Here's cinnamon, apple cinnamon. Man, you could really use any of those that you want to. In fact, you could use any kind of cereal that you want to. You could even do this with the e.l.f. Uh, cereal here, but the only thing is that it has marshmallows. I don't think you wanna really coat those. Not that it wouldn't taste good, it'd probably be delicious, but look at this, Kix is basically the same thing as the e.l.f. cereal, only without the, uh, the marshmallows. So you could do it with kicks because kicks are so boring, <laughs> but these would, this would make it actually taste good. And you know what? I think I'm gonna take my own advice and I'm actually gonna use the honey nut checks because those things just look so delicious already. And that'll add a whole other layer to the taste of these things. You could even use these delicious things right here, Quaker oatmeal squares, if you want mind-blowing gas for a week. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to go back that way in a minute, but the other aisle is totally full. We need to go down this one right here and get peanut butter. The peanut butter I usually get is Jif because I think it's the most delicious, but tonight we're gonna opt for Peter Pan because we need that extra little bit of magic to fly with Santa's sleigh. Okay, we need to get some butter right here, confectioner sugar. All right, guys, I gotta show you this too because this is so cool if you wanted to have a totally awesome Christmassy Christmas morning waffles breakfast. Look at this, little mini Santa waffle makers. When you make the waffle, it prints a Santa on there. And look, that's not all. This one makes a snowman and this one makes a snowflake. Holy crap, look, we even have one with a Thanksgiving 
turkey. Oh, and look at this one. It makes a reindeer on there. That is so hilarious. You could have a total mix of Christmassy goodness in your waffles for Christmas morning breakfast. Look at this. These are only $8.96 each. You could actually have like a whole waffle breakfast bar. You could set each of these out so everybody could make their own waffles and put out like a big thing where they have to dip in and get their waffle mix and just make their own waffles. That is awesome. Look at this, guys. This is cool. These are $0.98 cents each. If you guys wanted to have a big movie night with these things and like everybody gets their own individual Christmassy container, you could get these for $0.98 cents each. How cool. Hold on. Let me see. I gotta find one here. <laughs> Tons of lids. Okay, yeah. Eh, that's not the most Christmassy thing I've ever seen in my life, but... It is pretty cool. Lots of different ones. Everybody could have their own individual one with uh, their, their uh, what are they called, Muddy Buddies in there. This is my favorite with the red truck and the tree and the red trailer. That is awesome. Okay, let's get out of here. And last, we need Ziplocs, but we're going to go for the cheap ones down here. These are half price. These are $1.98. Those are $3.98. All right, guys, so I had to make sure that I have the movie, and I do. I actually brought it with me. Right now, we are out of the RV because it's getting some more repairs done. So it's been kind of frustrating, but we decorated in here a little bit. I showed you this the other day when I did the video about doing the Christmas collaboration, which I hope a lot of you are going to get into. Um, but there we got it all set up there. We got the Christmas tree, a glow, and I'm trying to get in the Christmas spirit here so I can make these snacks. And I just realized I have no measuring cup. So I am going to have to wing this. And what I did was I looked at our semi-sweet morsels and I actually swapped these out for the regular sized ones because uh, they have to melt and I just want to make sure that it works right. Um, so this is a, I think a 12 ounce bag. I think I already ripped off the corner that says that. But I used two-thirds of those in there because I figured that makes a cup of those. And I apologize for the ginormous shadow of my head on everything. The lighting in here is horrible. It's like right above me. I have no light under the sink here. Wait a minute. Maybe I do. Yes. Look at this. I have a little light under the sink. Maybe that will make things better. Let's get back to this. Okay, that's a little better. We have one cup of chocolate semi-sweet morsels. In our case, we're using Nestle Toll House. So, the next thing we need, we're going to need some butter here, but we need some uh, Peter Pan peanut butter. And I also don't have my tripod with me, so I'm going to have to set the camera down, scoop this, and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I got that ready, guys. We have one cup of the, uh, move it over here so you can see it, one cup of the chocolate chips, one half cup of peanut butter, and one half stick of butter. Now, this goes in the microwave, and I'm going to link the video below that shows you exactly how to make this, because this is a horrible way for me to show you, but it's the best I can do tonight. Um, you microwave this for a minute, then you mix it up, then you microwave it for 30 seconds or until it's all smooth and, you know, pourable. Now, you're supposed to also mix some vanilla in, and we have this one that we got from Marion's daughter for Christmas, um, which is why I didn't buy any, but I wasn't thinking, and this is homemade vanilla. This actually has to sit until... February 10th before it's ready to be used. So we're just going to make it without the vanilla tonight because I don't have any. Okay, so this is going into the microwave for one minute. I'm going to get it all mixed up in and I'll show you. Okay, this is out of the microwave after one and a half minutes. I mixed it up as much as I could and it's getting thick quick. So I need to mix it in with here. This is where you would add the vanilla, but we don't have it. So we're just going to add it in as it is. This is nine cups of the Honey Nut Ch Checks. The Honey Nut Checks. <laughs> Which Marion had one bowl of it and that left about nine cups left. So we're gonna use all the rest of what came in this one pound, 3.6 ounce box. Okay, so I assume if we had the vanilla, it would be mixing a lot easier, but this is pretty difficult. The chocolate is really thick and I don't know, it's just, it's coating it, but what you want it to do is coat every piece of this so that then we can put it in the plastic bag with the powdered sugar and shake that up and that will coat them individually. But this is very difficult, so I would not recommend doing it without the vanilla. 
it's coming along, but dang, you gotta work fast because the chocolate gets even thicker as it cools down. So it looks like this is actually getting coated pretty decent despite the chocolate being so thick. I've just had to kind of work through it a lot and I'm trying not to bust up the checks pieces, <laughs> but it's just, it's a process to get it all mixed up. Okay, so there is our coated check mix, and there's a whole lot of it. So in the video that I'm going to link below, they show the plastic bag sitting out like this, but they don't really explain it. So I just thought, well, you just put it in the plastic bag. But no, the reason this is sitting out like this with the outside folded over is so that it creates like a bowl and makes it easier to get the Chex Mix in there. So I went ahead and I put some of the confectioner's powdered sugar in each of these bags before I even put any of this in, just so that the chocolate doesn't immediately start sticking to the inside of the bag and it does what it's supposed to do, which this stuff is supposed to coat each and every piece of that. Okay, so I was actually able to just use this spatula, tilt up the bowl and very carefully uh, kind of dish it into each of the bags. It was kind of difficult. You might want to make sure you have some help but I'm gonna go ahead and seal these bags and start rolling them in the powder so that begins to coat that. So I went ahead and poured in a little bit more of the powdered sugar in each of the bags and I sealed them shut with their Ziploc tops. Now we're basically just gonna roll it in there and try to get these things coated as individually as possible with that powdered sugar. And despite all the trouble I've been having, this actually looks like it may have worked out good. You can see how all the pieces are coated very good in there. I'm gonna pour some of this out and uh, we'll get a better look at it here. We have just a regular mixing bowl here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour these in. And yeah, you can see how it really did wow. a good job. There's a few chunks in there, but those will be pretty dang good. Otherwise, it pretty much coated them individually. Now, let me just say before we taste this that you're probably going to want to wear a shirt that you don't mind getting this white powdered sugar all over because it's all over my red shirt. And I'm going to give this to the lady to have a taste here. I knew you would do that. <laughs> have a big chunk. Is it good? Mm. Very good. Very tasty, crunchy, sweet. Mm. All right, I'm gonna have a taste here and I'm actually gonna take this giant chunk because that thing just looks absolutely delicious. Look at that. All right, there it is. Mmm, that is actually much better than I expected it. Mm. And you know that's true because she's already over here digging in. Mm. <laughs> Good. We're gonna go over here, put on Elf, dig into this tasty deliciousness Muddy Buddies with Buddy the Elf. Hope you guys enjoyed this show and you'll go try this for yourself. I'll link the video below where I got the recipe in the first place. So I wanted to show you one last thing that I did here with these. I put them in a sieve and put that in a huge bowl here. And then I just kind of shake it around to get all the extra powdered sugar off of those because I found that when I poured them out of the bag, there was a huge amount of extra powder. So I do that and then just go ahead and pour them back into a clean bag. And you can see how much cleaner and neater that is without all that extra powder. Mm -hmm.